Welcome to Nigerian News Center. If there is the first time on this channel, please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you. Chima Obi Ezenwa, a man whose mansion said to be worth 200 million naira, was demolished in Lagos State, says he's now homeless. The Lagos State government recently commenced the destruction of houses said to be in contravention of Lagos State Master Plan. Residents in the Abule Ado area of the state were filmed hurriedly removing their belongings after being given a two hours grace before demolition commences. We are calling on the Lagos State government to look into this because most of these people they are they died because of this demolition and most of them are down with stroke and some are in the hospital. At least these people need compensation. They don't need to be thrown into the street like that. Some of them have they have nowhere to go. They are sleeping in the street. The Lagos State government should do something about this. I would like you guys to watch the video to meet again. My name is Lee. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you. No notice before encroaching on my property, destroying it. Even if I didn't have uh, a FHA allocation, if they ask me to pay for the reclaiming of the land, I'm ready to pay. And they destroyed my property over what? Over 300 million. Yeah. My keys are homeless now. I don't know what to do next. And I still have some neighbors that ha that are in hospital now. Some are having stroke now. Things are happening. So we are appealing for the government to help us to stop the demolition going on at Ablado. Kids are at the hospital. Please, I'm begging. I'm calling on the presidency to do something about this. Look at people's problems. Look at. Even if they say that some houses are built on the road, they are done demolishing those houses. Why entering into the street where people are living, making children homeless? Children are homeless now. They can't even go to school. About four people are dead because of this. Out of heart attack, out of tension. People are dead. We have lost lives because of this. Just look at huh? My wife is in hospital because he cannot bear it. She can't bear it. She has been hospitalized. As I am now, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm very, very confused. I'm very, very confused. I'm homeless like this. There is ongoing committee. They've been making calls. They've been making calls. We are on the calls now. No response yet. But we are praying to have response because there are still ongoing demolition as we speak right here now. Illegal works, if I may say. Surely there have been a negotiation between the landlords and uh, if it changes for long, we want to be in the landlords at the meeting with them, discussing uh, for better understanding. They threatened to uh, carry out the, the demolitions, but to me, what I reclaimed it from the family, reclaimed it from the swamp, invested on it, come to this level. We are not saying that we are in the house. Someone said that we are in the house. Then we say a negotiation with them, which we felt uh, this would go this way. All along, we've been saying, please consider us. Let us exercise out the human face. We invested here ignorantly. And let there be understanding between the two parties, the family and the FHA. Then they come to us and tell us what we should do, and we are willing to do so. Though my own have been demolished, but let others not be moved into the, into the, into the street like myself. Let it stop, and then let's negotiate and understand each, each side and walk in the streets and sleep in the open. See mosquito by solar. And a lot of people, but only myself. Landlords, house owners, 
possibly the new Nigeria hydrants are taking cover elsewhere. We don't know. We've been we've been that home 